How does it feel getting ready to go to New York by yourself? Here, tell them how you feel and then showcase them and ask them how you feel. I feel very nervous. I'm not gonna see anybody until 2022. What do you mean, anybody? Well, not anybody, except my dad. Not us? You'll probably see us before. I guess. It won't be too bad. We'll probably see you a few days before. We'll like the day later. They said that they might put me in first class. Ooh, they might, they might, they might, they might. Yeah. It'd be really cool. So just make sure that you're paying attention and you're listening. Use your listening skills. If you didn't hear what someone said, say, excuse me. Don't just say okay and then be guessing what they said like you do me. Really listen so you can know what you have to do and what you're supposed to do and what they said, okay? Okay. Yeah. And make sure you listen when they say, do you want uh, like nuts or chips or cookies or whatever. Make sure you listen and tell them what you want and what kind of drink you want. If you want ice, no ice. Make sure you say please and thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it'll be a pretty quick uh, flight. This is Kiso. How you feel, Kason? Kason, how you feel? Kason, how do you feel? You got nothing to say? Okay. Here you go. Samani's getting on a flight as an unaccompanied minor today. It's his first time. It's gonna be a great, quick, easy, turbulence-free flight. You make sure you pray before, huh? How do you know it's turbulence-free? Because God told me it will be. Period. But make sure you pray before you uh you lift off. Don't let anybody interrupt your prayer. If they try to just ignore them until you're done, they'll be okay. And um I will pray for you on this side too. And yeah, you're gonna be amazing. Your dad is gonna meet you at the gate. So as soon as you get off the plane and you walk, he'll be right there. Make sure they check his ID to make sure it's your dad. Don't go with anyone else. Text me when you're on the plane and you're sitting down. You can text me as long as you want or you can FaceTime me, send me voice notes, whatever. And when you land, make sure you text me too. Or call me. I think you'll be fine. You're gonna be amazing. Just remember what I said, just make sure you're paying attention and don't just say yes to anyone when they ask you anything. Make sure you heard what they said, okay? okay. And it's gonna be a pretty quick flight. And you're gonna enjoy yourself when you get there, I hope. Yeah. Oh, we're in the Starbucks line. It's not even long, but it's taking forever. Taking forever. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I guess I'm really in love for you. Hey guys, so we were supposed to record at the airport um, with money taking his first flight alone as an unaccompanied minor but with traffic um it took a lot longer than it was supposed to to get to the airport and then uh hold on all right so yeah, what I was saying. 
all right so when we got to the airport we literally had to do everything that we had to do with the booking on i mean the booking over the phone so basically i already gave them the drop off person's information which is me the pickup person's information the address that um on their id everything like that and then we had to do all of that again at the um check-in desk which was so annoying um and a long process the lady was taking forever so it took her forever to do and then lucky enough she walked us directly to um tsa so we didn't have to wait on that long ass line thank god because we would have definitely missed the flight by then um so when she walked us through like it's weird because some airports be like oh um anything bigger than a cell phone put separately in a bin and some people be like anything bigger than an ipad put separately in a bin so i didn't hear what the lady said she claimed she said bigger than a cell phone but i would have definitely told money um to put his little nintendo screen you know in the bin or whatever so he didn't he kept it in his book bag and mind you i had case and my youngest son in my arms the whole time um i parked in the hourly parking of a delta or whatever and i literally had him in my arms the whole time because i'm thinking oh you know no stroller um take the least amount of things out the car so it's gonna be a quick one two three he gonna go we're gonna walk into the gate and then boom that's gonna be that we're gonna walk right back so i literally had my son in my arms and with a blanket and literally like my arm hurts today just to let you guys know so basically he had to get his bag checked because the screen was in a book bag um it was mad bags ahead of his to be checked so we waiting on that which took forever um i asked uh kimani was uh was his phone charged he said yeah before we left the house then we stand in the tsa line waiting i'm like what time is it he pulls, pulls out his phone and he's looking at his phone and he's like oh my phone is dead oh so when i asked you if your phone was charged and you said yeah what were you referring to because we could have been charging your phone the whole time in the car while we were driving to the airport but anyway um she finally checked the bag um it was a screen obviously so she had to put it back through not annoying so then we had to wait even more so she put it back through finally came out then we um ran to the gate so of course our luck we're at like the last gate um for that terminal so we had to take the train to the terminal and then we had to walk all the way to the last gate so i was telling kimani to like run to the um run to the gate or whatever to see if it's too late because if it's too late i'm just gonna turn back around and we're gonna try to find a new um flight whether it's for the next day or whatever because that flight was already late it was a seven o'clock flight so we would have just found a new flight for like the next morning or something like that so he runs to the gate and then I'm like looking, I'm getting closer, getting closer, and I'm like, why hasn't he came back yet? Like ran back to me and said, yeah, it's still open or something, so I can start, you know, power walking or something. I get to the gate, this boy is sitting down. I said, Kimani, go! I said, go, go! Like, I didn't tell you to run here to sit down. Like, I told you to run here to see if they're still allowing people to go in. Luckily, they were um he was literally like the last person on the flight like so we literally like i didn't get to take any footage i had my camera on me but i didn't get to record anything it was just a lot going on with a baby in my arms and i'm rushing and just the worst then um so we didn't even really get to say bye like i hugged him or whatever um and then he kept like looking back like literally they closed the doors right then and there like luckily we had some like really nice people at the front desk and it was just it was it was uh, it was really good so he went right in and he had to wait for his phone to charge a little bit to cut on so he could contact me then guess what the baby has doodle on him. i'm smelling something i'm like what the hell the baby doodled and out of all the times that his doodle has been solid guess what today it's liquid and it went right through his uh pants and right onto my arm because my arm was under his butt while i was holding him luckily i grabbed one pamper and the wipes luckily because when i was leaving the car i wasn't gonna grab nothing because like i said my job was supposed to be a little one two one three one two one three one two three um quick little drop off but luckily i grabbed one um 
one diaper and the wipes or whatever. So after we dropped Monty to the gate and he got on the plane, we literally went to the bathroom. I changed him, tried to clean him up as much as I could. And then we went back to the car. Stupid car ticket was giving me an error message. Had to back out and then go to the cashier part. Mad annoying. I just wanted to go home at this point. I was literally like sweating under my sweater. And I was cold at the same time because it was really like freezing outside. Annoying. And then um, the baby started falling asleep while we was walking towards the car. Like it was quite an experience, but I'm glad it happened the way it did because he was able to get on a flight. I really wanted to record some footage for you guys, but it didn't work out as planned. But I'm here to tell the story, so that's a good part. He was really like nervous at first, but it wound up working out pretty well. Um, he said that there was a lot of other kids that was uh, unaccompanied minors, and they all sat in like first class together. I guess they had some extra seats in first class, and um, it worked out pretty good. He said he met a friend, um, a girl, or whatever. And yeah, they were all flying into New York. And it winds up working now. His dad met him at the other end. And um, yeah, he said he would definitely do it again. He said he had fun. He said he drank Sprite when they asked him what he wanted to drink instead of apple juice like I told him to get. But you know, he was living his best life, I guess. So, <laughs> but yeah, he definitely enjoyed himself. Um, so basically, and it's crazy because they charge you $150 for the um, unaccompanied minor fee. And they do it for up to four kids. So literally if I had like four kids that I wanted to send to like Arizona from Atlanta, like I could literally send all four of my kids and pay the one time fee. So of course I have one kid that's traveling so I had to pay the $150 for that one kid. But yeah. Um, it was worth it because I definitely would have came out um, probably double that amount because the tickets I had got for like 150 at the time. Um, so I would have had to get pay for his ticket and my ticket that's $300 going there. And then I would have had to come right back, which is uh, 450 So instead of paying 450 I literally just paid 300 for the $150 fee unaccompanied minor fee and then his ticket which was 150 so he wound up working out or whatever so and plus i probably would have had to bring case in as well well i definitely would have had to bring case in um with me to drop him off so when i say it worked out it definitely worked out so hopefully he'll have fun during his break and um yeah, I'll probably see him before the new year. I'll definitely see him before the new year, before the year ends. But, oh, excuse me. But that was our Vlogmas day 19. So, I will see you guys on our Vlogmas day 20. Okay, later.